Hey, hey, what is this? A whole new setup. Look at this. Mm, crisp, clean, clean. I got a whole new setup even. Switch to that camera over there. Look at this. Two monitor setup. Clean. Dang, that's cool. I have my tea this time, not my coffee. Mm. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Quentin, your favorite designer. <laughs> okay, so um, my last video um, was about wireframing in Adobe XD. And at that time, I had like one client, right? I had, I had landed one client through my hunting techniques that I did <laughs> in my last video. I was just sending emails like, and all that stuff. So um, in the course of um, from that previous video um, being up to now, I have landed almost, um, I'd say five clients. Yeah, I've landed a to total of five clients and I have lost a couple of clients on the way. Um, so I want to make a whole breakdown video about my process. Um, about the whole process of freelancing, what I don't like about it, what I do like about it, my takeaways so far. I really think I can hit that mark that I set in the first video where I said I will be working with 10 clients by the end of the year. I would like to work with 10 clients by the end of the year. I actually think I can make it even more. We'll see with the amount of clients that are coming in now. I think I think I think it's possible but that's not what this video is about today I'll be showing you guys how to do prototyping in Adobe XD the last video was all about wife wireframing and this one will be about how to do your prototypes now, I like doing prototypes because it adds a nice bit of interactivity in your um, web pages that you design or apps or whatever you'll be designing it adds a nice dash of interactivity that makes it a bit more um, pleasing and you can clearly see what the user flow is so um, today we'll be doing a very basic product page um, prototype where you'll be seeing some watches and you can just select the different watches and you'll be led on to the different pages it's pretty basic but it should give you a rough idea on how to do prototype in Adobe XD and you can kind of get creative with it along uh, the way I have dropped the links to all the design files um, below in the description so if you guys actually just download it and work with it great I'll have the file down there and without further ado let's get right into it okay so now you should have your Adobe XD open and let's get started so we'll start with our main landing page um, we'll try and make it a simple one you can turn on your layouts and have a nice little big block going right in the middle so after this you can just center it and you can basically pick whatever color you want i just like this nice orange color here and you can add all our elements So if you want to align two items that are over um, one item already, it's a bit annoying sometimes to have to click on them separately or find them on the side panel. But what you can do to make things easier is you can just lock that back rectangle and then you can easily select over it and it won't be movable. So that makes it much easier to work um, on elements that are overlapping each other and you don't want one of them to interact with the other ones so now you'll just move that now you can group these together let's just have the three different buttons as vintage classic and black black so now we'll have it in such a way that when you click on one of these buttons it'll take you to a different page with the product with the different products so vintage classic and black will be like different watches but we can add a little base watch here and now you can add your different pages here in your footer
and one of my favorite parts is this hamburger menu i don't know why i like making this hamburger menu so much but every time i get the chance to use a hamburger menu i use it because i like designing them they just they just look nice and you can go off fancy with how you want to make your hamburger, hamburger menus and menus and there's a lot of debates out here about whether you should have hamburger menus on your pages so there are certain times where you actually do want hamburger menus on your pages and there are times where it's actually working against you and not for you almost like uh actually now is a good example because i have my contact us here with all, all the information you need and then you have the menu button which kind of contradicts because you really have all the information you need here in the navigation bar so i don't know you decide between a uh, hamburger menu and a uh, contact us that's it's not really a good idea to have both i don't even know what i'm doing here let's remove that so you guys learn on the way and another cool thing to add is nice little page uh social icons right there at the bottom i like adding the social icons they add a nice little uh, element to the pages now you can get these for free on flat icons is a resource i use to get all my icons i can actually show you right now flaticon.com just go onto there you can get your different icons let's group them and align them right there at the end so this is like the landing page not that fancy don't worry about it and um now we're just going to add the different pages for um to make this prototype nice and interactive so the first kind of step when prototyping or for this specific prototype is we'll just clone this and if you move over to the prototype tab you'll see it's like a whole new um set of tools that you get access to so the little blue arrows that you see here um are your interactions so if we go to the vintage button and drag that line or that um over to this page here you're basically going to be making it into a button go to the next page so you won't see anything now because it's exactly the same page but let's just say we remove this on the second page because it no longer will be there so as you click on the button you'll be moving on to the next page here which is great and now time to add all the design elements for this page now i will show you another thing here is on this panel on this side you will see all um, your properties or all the things you can do with your um, prototype animation and all that stuff so we have our interaction here which is currently on tap let's just click on it currently on tap that's the default one so whenever i tap on this element it will do this interaction and take me all over here so this interaction will trigger an action now an action can have different types the current type for this one is transition now they can transition auto animate and all these other things you can even um play back audio or speech so we we'll leave it on transition for now because all we want to do is just transition into the next page um yeah and you can have your animation types all the way here you guys can get quite fancy with the prototypes that you're doing but for now we'll leave it as quite basic as we'll just be doing buttons so let's get into it we'll have the different ones for the different buttons move it over there and let's get that button move it over here so now once we have these we'll start creating the pages that has all the elements with the watches coming in here this will be our vintage this will be our vintage watch we'll have our vintage watch this side we kind of i want to have it just like um uh animate in or slide in as you get on the page so that's a little cool animation you can have for it let me just center it and how you do that how you do that so for now if i start my prototype all over okay nothing will happen now it won't be sliding in because i haven't added that interaction uh, for it yet so we need to find a way to animate from this page to the next page because this page is just uh, the removal of all these uh 
the the main landing page here and i will transition from this page to the page with the watches so from here you can actually just go back to the prototype tab and for the whole page you'll have an interaction on the next one and now this one can't be transitioned because there won't be any interaction for the page so nothing will happen until you click on the page itself because the interaction is on the entire page but you don't want that now do you which will automatically kind of happen so for that you'll go on to that button over there not that button you'll go on over to your um animation here and you change the action type to auto animate and you can kind of change it to um ease in and ease out and you'll have your duration here you can play around with these things to see what the different uh, values change and what they give you so now if i do that it will automatically kind of move on to the next page it didn't what the hell happened auto animate oh that's supposed to be a time trigger let's try that again it should, it shouldn't be there let's remove all these elements and that should be here and the trigger will be time and you auto animate so now if we go back to the main page and click on vintage it will just do that great now to make it sort of animate in we'll move it just off the artboard just off the artboard perfect so now we'll do the same it'll be the same process for this one as the other one we'll just move it over to that side and on this page you want to bring it in so the same thing you did on the same thing we did on this page for the auto animate you will do on the other one i think my watch disappeared there, but it's still part of this artboard so now once we're here same thing change it to a time trigger auto animate so now if you go all the way in the beginning press on that button should just scroll in now there seems to be a bit of a delay there we can remove the duration to just zero to just make it a nice seamless transition actually i don't even think we need this middle page here we can go straight actually to this page right here let's see how that looks perfect perfect so now once we're here you can delete all these pages we don't, we don't really need them and we can move these all the way over here great so now once you have this you'll have your little bit of animation happening when you press on the vintage button and you'll have all the information come through great now let's work on this page right here you can it nice and readable and bam look at that clean clean nice and clean and we'll have the price all the way down here i don't know how much these watches cost so please forgive me if it's too expensive good lord that is really expensive now we can make another button for add to cart and then we can have a back button you can just use these two diagonal lines to design one copy and paste invert it the direction or whatever you call that make it nice and smaller group it up and put it right at the top you can add that in the prototype where it will go all the way back to the main page so that's it that's your nice basic quick um prototype uh, tutorial now at the end you'll see it'll look amazing so at the end your design should kind of look like this um you can play around with the type of interactions that you make you can change the triggers the timing the delays it's really quite cool to work with so this is um the most basic prototyping you can do you can get really fancy with the kind of prototyping and all the um, uh, components and hover states it gets quite intense so i'll be doing a part two and a more advanced tutorial on how to do those kind of um, animations i try to keep my videos very short it seems like that's um the kind of content that you guys enjoy nice quick and fast straight to the point 
so yeah this is basically how you do prototyping in adobe xd let me know if you guys have any questions um follow me on my socials and yeah see you guys um in the next video wait if you guys want to chill and hang out with me while i'm playing some games or want to play some games with me follow me on twitch watch my live streams i do lockdown live streams almost every friday i do miss some fridays because you know it's hectic i do a lot of things please don't kill me okay forgive me sometimes content just takes time for me to make i need to be inspired i need to be in the right let me, let me not even rant about this it doesn't even it's not even that important it's fine anyways um i'll be coming up with some more videos soon talk about my experiences in the freelancing world so far and yeah thank you very much this is me quentin out